Okay, so this video is look at 1971-72 The Persuaders DVD box set. This video is not a review of The Persuaders TV show. If you don't like the concept of two wealthy playboys being brought together by a former judge to fight crime, then there's nothing I can say to persuade you otherwise. See what I did there? This video is about how The Persuaders was lining up Roger Moore to be the next James Bond, which was his next big acting gig after The Persuaders. Fate, Destiny, the Stars, whatever you want to call it, being the next James Bond was inescapable for him. Let's look at the evidence. The episode, Someone Like Me, features Bernard Lee, who played Bond's boss M from the first Bond film, Dr. No, all the way up to Moonraker, which was Roger Moore's fourth outing as Bond. The episode, Someone Waiting, features the actress Lois Maxwell, who played Miss Money Penny from Dr. No, all the way to A View to a Kill, which covers all of Moore's Bond films. Two Bond girls featured in the series, Catherine Schnell in the episode The Morning After. She was a Bond girl in the film On Her Majesty's Secret Service opposite George Lazenby's Bond, but Madeline Smith from the episode The Long Goodbye was a Bond girl in Moore's first Bond film, Limit Let Die. The Long Goodbye episode also features one of the most ludicrous pursuit vehicles ever put on screen, when Moore chases after the bad guys in a car shaped like a rocket, don't ask. But it was a shape of things to come, as Moore's Bond would be seen in vehicles such as the hovercraft gondola, a crocodile shaped submarine and an iceberg submarine during his time as Bond. In the episode Element of Risk, while Tony Curtis is talking to a girl, he refers to Moore as he's a spy, and in the episode Read and Destroy, they both become spies in the story. The episode That's Me Over There features Geoffrey Keane, who would appear in the Roger Moore Bond films The Spy Who Loved Me. Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and A View to a Kill. The episode Chain of Events was directed by Peter Hunt, who directed the Bond film on Her Majesty's Secret Service, as well as edited many others. And in the episode, A Death in the Family, a female character says her car has an ejector seat. Who's famous for having an ejector seat in his car? That's right, James Bond. So as you can see, the whole series was just a dry run leading up to Roger Moore being cast as the new James Bond. The links between the two series are unbelievable, and it would have been more shocking if Moore hadn't been chosen to be Bond after watching this series. Okay. So that was a look at the 1971-72 The Persuaders DVD box set, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.